Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieved this really soft, easy, pink inspired makeup look, then let's just get right into it. For primer today, I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu spray. Um, yeah, I use this every time I do my makeup. It's so good. I rave about it every single time. I do my makeup, you guys are probably sick of me telling you about it, but I just love it so much. Over top of that, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is just a really good pore filling primer, smooths out the skin. For my foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the LA Colors Truly Matte High Pigment Foundation. I recently just did a full first impression and wear test on this foundation. So I will definitely link it up here for you guys if you are interested. But I absolutely love this foundation and it's only $6 from the drugstore. And this is in the shade Natural. When I first apply this on my skin... Um, it looks a little funny and the color looks a little off. But it definitely oxidizes to my skin tone because it matches honestly really perfectly throughout the day so it is a thicker consistency if you are wondering but it feels really lightweight on the skin so it, you don't really have to worry about feeling cakey or gross on valentine's day no matter what you're doing whether you're staying in with your girlfriends you have to work you have school you're going out with your loved one whatever you're doing if you want to get ready if you don't i feel you I feel ya. I don't even know what Matt and I are doing on Valentine's Day because I actually have school until 6 p.m. Monday and Wednesday, so that kind of sucks. Um, so I don't know. We haven't really planned anything. I think we're just going to keep it on the down low this year just because, I don't know, we just had Christmas. We just had our one year. We've just been doing a lot lately and we kind of just want to relax, enjoy each other, have a nice relaxing Valentine's Day, you know? what it's all about but I do want to go see the new 50 shades whatever it is the whole new series I do want to see that like soon whether it's on Valentine's Day or not there's like so many fuzzies on my sponge right now but I do want to see that I haven't even seen the second one so I definitely have to see the second one this weekend so I can see the third one next week that's the plan so I'm just using a sponge to blend this out just because I like sponges. I don't like brushes. I mean, let's be honest now. But this blends out really nicely. Looks so good on my skin. I don't know what they put in this. But for $6, honestly, you can't get better. I know a lot of you want me to test this foundation up against the Wet n Wild. Um, that is coming. So just be on the lookout for that. I just did Wet n Wild and the new Maybelline super stay full coverage against each other so if you haven't seen that definitely go check that out because the results are shocking definitely let me know down below what you guys have planned for valentine's day whether you're just staying in whether you're going out with your boo thing let me know i like to hear what you guys are doing on like holidays and like special occasions for my concealer i'm gonna go in with the tart shape tape um, this might be a little bit too light, I'm not really sure, but this is in the shade Light. I just got a brand new one, because I had like fair beige before and it was literally white on my skin. I was like, this is not going to work. So, uh, this doesn't look too bad. I keep forgetting that you really don't need a lot for this concealer, because I'm so used to applying like not as heavy um, coverage concealers, but oh well. <laughs> Now that we're all concealed, I'm going to set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. This is honestly a really good setting powder from the drugstore, so if you don't want to spend a boatload of money, then I would try this one out. For my brows today, I'm going to go in with the NYX Micro Pencil. I haven't used this in a hot minute, so I wanted to bring it back out. And this is in the shade Ash Brown. 
Um, I realized that the shade chocolate was not working for me anymore because it is winter time and my hair isn't as light as it was in the summer. So I definitely had to pick up a different shade of this. Um, hopefully this is the right shade because the Ulta that I went to was literally out of every shade and I really wanted to pick it up. So let's just hope. Brows are done. Um, I actually really like that pencil. I really like how my brows came out today. I don't know what's going on, but I really like the shape. So, for bronzer, I'm just going to use this ABH contour kit, and this is in the shade light to medium. And I'm just going to take these three dark shades and honestly just mix them all together. This is what I've been doing for like my bronzer slash contour lately. I don't know, I just like how it turns out. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but I don't really care if that's how you're supposed to do it, because I like it. And then I'm just going to take like a flat brush, if I can find one. This is the Royal and Nickel brush. And I'm just going to dip in to this banana shade and like this whiter shade. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. Ah! I just dropped this. Just to lighten them up a little bit underneath the eyes. And for blush today, I'm going to go in with the ABH Blush Trio. And I think I'm just going to mix all these shades together. Um, maybe just these two, just because I want like a really pretty like um, flush to the skin today. Um, and I'm using my Wet n Wild Blush Brush from like their Pro line. And for highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox collab with Casey Holmes. And this is their Pearl Palette. And I think I'm just going to go in with this shade. I haven't used this in a hot minute. Oh my goodness. Alright, and now on to the eyes. So I think I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. And I don't really know what kind of eye look I want to do today. I want to do something very simple, pretty, pink, obviously. Um, Let's see. We'll just roll with it, honestly, because I have no idea what I want to do. So this is the Morphe M511. And I think I'm going to take this shade. Oh the shade right here I wanted to give you the guys the option of just not wearing red you know what I mean something more neutral if you're scared of wearing colored eyeshadows or like red lipstick if you just wanted to wear like nudes or a pink this is the tutorial for you and I'm going to take just a smaller brush, this is the Morphe E17, and take that same transition shade and run this along my lower lash line. Next I'm taking the Morphe E27, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is more of like a mauve-y, mauve toned color. <laughs> Um, I wanted more of like a pink color, but I wanted to just stick to one palette. I didn't want to go between two or three palettes. So I'm just going to add this on my outer corner just to deepen up the look a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to take that same shade on that little small E17. And I'm just adding this on the outer port, port part of my lower lash line. So this is the Morphe M210. And I think I'm going to take this light pink shimmery shade. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Wow, this color is so pretty. I don't think I've ever used this color before. I really like that shadow. Um, it's more of like a neutral eye, nothing too much, but it still makes you look like you put a little effort into it. So, um, I think that's all. And then for my brow bone highlight and my inner corner, I'm going to take like a little pencil brush. This is the Morphe M560. And I think I'm going to take this first shade right here since this is a shimmer shade and not a matte shade. If you know what I'm talking about with that reference, then you're a real OG. <laughs> but I'm just going to add this on my brow bone just to make that pop a little more. And on my inner corner. This is the NYX White Retractable Eyeliner. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise for my mascara today. And then I'm just going to apply this Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Angel. Um, I just started because I wanted to see what it looked like before I went and like put the whole thing on. So... So you can either leave your lips like this, a really matte lip, it's really cute, really simple. Um, I just love this look so much. Or you can add a gloss on top, and I just love the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. So I think I'm going to add this on top just because that's what I love lately. I've been obsessed with glossy lips. I don't know what it is, but I just love them so much. And to set the face, I'm just going to use the same Mario Badescu facial spray that we used in the beginning. And then to actually set the face, um, I'm going to use this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. So this is the completed look. Um, I just really like how it's really soft really easy to do, nothing too difficult, and it just really enhances your features a little more. I just love this pink lip. It's change it up a little bit, you know what I mean? I feel like everyone does red lips on Valentine's Day, so I wanted to do more of a pink inspired look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Definitely let me know what you think down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.